So this is my first bamboo bike. All of my friends insisted that it would break, because it's bamboo. <laughs> it works. Um, I filled the rear triangle with polyurethane foam while I was building this, and uh, the theory was that it would add more stiffness. The mountain bike frame transferred over here into this geometry, and then road bike components. <laughs> I think the possibly one of the problems with the bamboo itself was that it was too young. Uh, the bamboo needs to be between three and five years old, but um, I looked up online how to uh, tell the age of a piece of bamboo, a bamboo stalk as it's growing, and I found a bunch of different information and I couldn't really make sense of any of it. Something to do with branches and their curves or something. Anyway, this one had branches, they were curved three times. So it should have been fine, but uh, I don't know. Kind of, kind of, uh, kind of flexy. So this is the lashing, and it's made out of um, hemp and wood glue. The, uh, the recipe calls for carbon fiber and epoxy, but carbon fiber is energy intensive, and I'm kind of nerdy that way. <laughs> so I wanted, uh, I wanted to uh, match the natural theme of uh, the bamboo with uh, a natural, biodegradable, low energy intensive um, fiber with which to lash all of the uh, joints. So, um, I got single strand bamboo, uh, single strand uh, hemp cord. And so single strand meaning that it's not three strands twisted together but a single strand twisted around and fairly thin. The reason being I wanted the glue to sink into the fiber as much as possible. So I figure a single strand would be better for that. I pinched uh, a bead of glue into the uh, fiber, into the string. Um, I cut out about a meter of string and then smeared a bit of glue on the surface and then wrapped the, um, the string around. Anyway, I think most of the uh, forces are, what, the top tube would probably be pulling uh, this way sometimes, but mostly pushing in this direction. So I wasn't so worried about it pulling out this way, but rather pushing into here. So that one is fine as long as it didn't slip off the side. Uh, similarly, the, uh, it's called the seat stays, would probably be pushing up this way from uh, transferring weight from the seat down here, and this is pushing down, which in my mind means that these struts are going to be pushing up. So, I, uh, wrapped the, uh, the string accordingly. The chain stays, I think that these are pulling this way. When you sit on the seat, force goes here, through the seat, seat uh, tube, and then that would make this bottom bracket want to splay apart. So I had to make sure that these uh, chain stays were well connected to the bottom bracket. So I posted a question on Instructables.com about how to make the bottom tube more torsionally rigid. Torsion meaning a twisting force like this. So if you push on the pedal, if I push down here, it should make a rotating force this way. Sure. And maybe it's something to do with the glue that I used. Somehow I don't think so, but 
possibly the joints are flexing. Um, but uh, somehow I don't think so. I'm not sure why. They just seem pretty stiff to me. And there's a problem with the headset. Um, this headset comes off of a um, frame with a head tube that was, uh, how big? One and one eighth inch, I think? Or whatever the uh, larger standard head tube diameter is. And this one is a one inch head tube. So I had to put uh, a big steerer tube and big headset in a small tube. <laughs> um, so I went to a bunch of shops and everybody said that is impossible. You can't put a big thing in a small hole. But I ha had an art show coming up and uh, I didn't have any other options. And you're like, oh yeah, this turns really easy. And then you sit on it and it's like, oh god, uh, I can't steer and there's cars coming at me. Ah, So it's a work in progress. It's a prototype. And here is the piece that I wanted to put on the um, back here. Anyway, my plan was to stick this thing on here, could you, and then um, take some hemp string and glue and uh, glue this stuck around here, like this. Oh, I didn't put any uh, borax on the inside of the tubes. Uh, which I should have, um, but uh, didn't have time, and I didn't have any borax at the time. Stain, something to uh, protect the outside of the bamboo from water, and the borax on the inside to protect it from mold. And I've got a little bit of mold growing right here on the outside. Yeah, so a little bit of trouble with mold. But, um, well, it's a natural thing. <laughs> ah, the uh, tubes are this color because I roasted them over a uh, um, stove, propane stove. And that uh, dried out the um, bamboo and uh, charred it a little bit, which keeps some, I guess it doesn't keep all the mold off, but it keeps it pr preserves the um, tubes a little bit and caramelizes the sugar inside of the bamboo shoots, the bamboo stalks, which makes them stiffer, or so the uh, common wisdom goes. And last but not least, I was worried that the, uh, the seat tube here would split from the torque of the head, the uh, seat posts going back and forth and side to side. Um, I, I worried that it was going to split the bamboo apart here, so I just wrapped um, some hemp string around here. Whoop, 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 whoop. About uh, I don't know, 20 times or something, um, and it's held up really well. And uh, I put in a piece of uh, mountain bike fork. Um, that more or less matched this uh, seat tube size in here, and I cut a little slot, which you probably can't see, right here, a little slot, where is it, right here, and so that's, um, yeah, it just works like a regular, um, regular bicycle, so I can just put a regular seat tube clamp on here, Whoop closes it up, holds the seat in place, and uh, you're good to go. So, that's my bike, my prototype bike.